Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great privilege and distinct honor to attend this symposium and also thanks for the invitation by my name is Genan, came from Shenzhen Hospital in China. The topic of my presentation today is US-guided pancreatic duct drainage. We know that US-guided transmural drainage has provoked reaction in pancreatic and biliary system disease management. And those reactions have caused a lot of changes to happen in clinical decision making. In 2001, US guided bile duct drainage has been reported. And nowadays, studies have already focused on whether it will replace ERCP as the first line therapy. The first US guided pancreatic drainage is reported in 2002. 19 years have passed. We think this technique is still skill challenge and the use is limited. Why we have to develop this method? We know that ERP is considered first line therapy for the management of main pancreatic duct obstruction and pain from chronic pancreatitis. Surgical intervention was required when endoscopic therapy could not be performed. USPD emerged as the another option to train the PD. When conventional ERP is unsuccessful and it is supposed to have some advantages of eliminate the need for more invasive procedure and surgery. So far, we have got the technical success rate around 90%, LMS event rate around 20%. Unfortunately, these are all retrospective studies. AE increased to 55% when that migration is included. The common clinical scenario that fulfilled these conditions could be recommended for USPD, including the chronic pancreatitis with high-grade main pancreatic duct obstruction, the disconnected pancreatic duct syndrome, malignant pancreatic duct obstruction, and the surgical altered anatomy with ductal or anatomostic obstruction. And the contraindications for this technique include the diameter of the main pancreatic duct was less than 8 mm, and the interposition vessels that cannot be avoided. Also, the patient has multiple main pancreatic duct structures. There are two distinct forms of USPD exist, including the rendezvous assist ERP and the anterograde USPD. Anterograde stand placement is further subdivided based on whether the stand across the seat of ductal obstruction and papilla or nastomosis or not. If the gut wear cannot pass the stenosis, the transluminal anterograde procedure is performed. Sometimes the gut were oriented in a retrograde fashion. The performance was always to advance the gut wear anterograde into the duodenum whenever possible. The gut wear was advanced the retrograde in the case where the wear could not be oriented in an anterograde fashion. Most of the studies have the unanimous recommendations of the clinical algorithm. When inaccessible PD using conventional ERCP, we tried the US pancreatography. If successful, the rendezvous technique should be used initially because the complication rate is very low. If not successful, proceed with the transmural standing. In 2017, a multi-center study has concluded that the US-guided PD is superior to enteroscopy assessed ERP in post whipple anatomy in terms of efficiency with acceptable safety. 
We have this case last year. A 50-year-old gentleman was admitted in a hospital. The chief complaint was abdominal pain. The CT scan showed chronic pancreatitis, and a mass-like structure is located at the head of pancreas. The main pancreatic duct was also dilated. Differential diagnosis between pancreatic cancer and mice type chronic pancreatitis was considered, and the result from the FNA confirmed the inflammation change. The inflammation was invasive, the duodenum and the ERP was filled, so USPD was applied. This is the video of the procedure. The US was scanning at the body of the stomach. The dilated main pancreatic duct was targeted. The PT was punctured by a 19 gauge needle. After the puncture, the aspirated transparent juice confirmed the main pancreatic duct. Contrast agent was injected. The guideware was inserted anterograde, but cannot pass the stenosis. Then the needle pass was dilated by assisted harm. Then a seven French plastic double pigtail stand was inserted. CT scan after the procedure indicated that the diameter of the PD decreased. We know that the USPD is technical challenge. We may often feel difficult to pass the gut wear through the state of obstruction or the anatomosis or have the risk of gut wear showing by the needle during the wear manipulation. When we try to manipulate the gut wear, we could use the caster or the balloon to constrain the gut wear. And how we choose the position? The puncture set should have the short distance between the chair trap and the PD. Avoid the interposition vessels and cave the scope in maximal stability. So the linear scope should parallel to the PD. At last, I will talk about the, the devices used in this procedure. I have reviewed the literature about the USPD and summarized the devices used in these studies. Most of the time, we choose a 19 gauge needle because a 19 gauge needle is compatible with a stiffer guide wire, such as the 0.035 inch guide wire, which could facilitate the subsequent interventions. But this needle may be more difficult to insert into the PD. The 22 gauge needle is compatible with the 0.018 inch guide wire. The needle may be easier to access the PD, but the guide wire may have the insufficient caliber for optimal traction during the subsequent track dilation and stand insertion. And the 22 gauge needle may increase the risk of guide wire shearing. Although we have many types of brand of the needle, the dedicated needle for the USPD is still in need. The gut wear we choose is depend on which needle we use.
If we choose the 19 gauge needle, we should select the 0 0.035 guide wire or the 0 0.025 guide wire. If we use the 22 gauge needle, we should select the 0 0.021 or 0 0.02 zero or zero point zero one eight get well. The dilation used in the procedure could be the cold device or the hot device. Some argue that the diastemic way may increase the risk of linkage, but mechanical dilation was difficult because of the parenchyma of the pancreas and the heart PD wall. How devices are required while mechanical devices failed? Uh, no formal comparative trials exist to clarify the relative value of available devices. Equipment used varies among endoscopies due to the experience and often requires trial and error within the same person. Usually we use the plastic stand for the drainage. Metallic stand was also reported. We think further RCTs comparing these stands should be encouraged. AE for this technique is still very high, including the bleeding and the pancreatic juice linkage. Most of the time, the bleeding is self-limited. If the hematoma or linkage exists, we use the EMBD for the temporary drainage. Here is the conclusion. First, USPD should be considered as the therapeutic option in selected patients. And USPD is technically difficult with limited indications. Procedure should only be performed in selected patients by experienced endoscopists. The dedicated devices are still needed. An USBD is only described in retrospective studies with relatively small sample size. So a lot of questions are still need to be answered and long-term studies and a high volume of cases are required. Thank you for your attention.